What's going on guys, JSGC Vlogs here and we are here for another video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Jet2 Airlines flight review. We're flying from Cologne Bonn Airport or Cologne Bonn Airport in Germany. I've flown with Jet2 several times. I did fly here from Manchester to here. I just want to get a feel of the flight and everything so I can give you a nice informative video for you to look forward to. So I'm going to take you through everything to expect from Jet2 Airlines, what to expect on board, the food, the fragrances, the things that you can buy, leg room and things like that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But like always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to help me out by pressing that like button, subscribing if you're new around here and enjoying the content and want to stay tuned for more videos and don't forget also you can check out my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen too and don't forget leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you all again uh, as we walk through the airport and get in for our flight with jet 2 from cologne back to manchester in the uk airport really quiet just got through security it's only a small airport small security terminal 2 for jet 2 by the way from uh, cologne bonn airport so that's good just waiting for our flight out uh yeah so we'll see you on the plane Bad leg room, if I'm completely honest.
So now we're back home, so I'm going to give you some more details of our Jet 2 flight. So it was at Cologne Bonn Airport with clear security, went through duty free and all that stuff. I mean, we ate and drank before um, security because we've had past experiences in Germany where we haven't done that. I don't find their airports like the, 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 the vintage European airport where there isn't too much to do. There's probably a little bit more to do before security. So... Um, yeah, that's my recommendation. Actually, if you're in a German airport um, before security, you, you'll find some good stuff in there. So that's what I did. Uh, ended up eating and drinking before security rather than after. Um, passport control was after security in the airport. We went through, got to our gate. And then when we got to our gate, um, they had a problem on the machines. Now, the problem was with boarding passes. I think it was anyone that had online checked in. So they had mobile check-in um with their uh, boarding pass on their phone which is what we had or uh, if they'd printed at home there was a problem they had to go to the gate and uh, the, the person next to them um who was doing the boarding passes had to then um reauthorize them and so the plane ended up having a small delay i've been on i think eight jet two flights now never had this problem before so uh, it's not something that i'd probably be expecting it's just something that did happen on my flight so i'm going to mention but uh, you know, I, I I'm, not, I'm not bothered if I'm completely honest. <laughs> I mean, the plane took off about 10, 15 minutes after it should have. We, we still made good time in the air. Um, in terms of leg rooms, decent amount of leg room. Chairs are relatively comfy. I think it's worthwhile noting that I've never, ever fallen asleep on a plane in my life. But on my way to Cologne from Manchester, I did fall asleep. So there's got to be at least a degree of comfort somewhere. Um, the planes are nice and clean. The um, there's nice viewings coming in from from the uh, from the windows and stuff. I mean, it won't be the first, it won't be the last time that I've been on planes and, and the windows are mucky and you don't get to see anything. Um, which again, I'm not too fussed about. But when I'm trying to film and show you things, it does make things relatively unclear where it would jet to. Uh, that wasn't a problem. The overall plane cleanliness was good. The staff were nice, and so yeah, I don't really think you can ask uh, for much more from your plane. I mean, the job of the uh, plane ride is to get you from one place to another. We got from one place to another, so it's a big kudos from me. I do find uh, not just Jet 2, but all planes when they're selling their food, their, their drinks, their alcohol, uh, and things like that expensive. It is expensive, but I do find you do get some good deals on the plane, particularly with things uh, that are duty free, so you're not paying tax on certain items. So my girlfriend ended up buying a £60 watch for £48, which when you're prepared to spend that much money and you want something, it's actually extremely good and we've got a good deal so yeah kudos to jet 2 it was a nice flight only a short flight i think it was just over an hour i think it's about an hour 15 minutes nice and comfortable nice and clean certainly be recommending jet 2 i'd be flying with jet 2 uh, again i've flown with them previously and i'll be flying with them again i've heard good stuff of jet 2 um when you've got um even further out to uh, flight so yeah uh, I've not been on a longer journey with Jet 2, I think the longest I've been on maybe two or three hours, so uh, maybe I'll have to check that out one day, I think, think, don't quote me on this, they do do um, one or two long hauls too, did they, did they not announce that they were flying to New York as well, uh, I'm not too sure what their uh, flights are like, I'm not too sure if they're using the same aircrafts or not, or whether they're going to be using long haul larger aircraft, I think they're using the same aircraft, if I was on that plane that I was on for uh, seven hours. I'm not too sure if I'd like it or not. I'm sure, I, I think that'd be probably um, a, a very good plane review to do, but uh, don't worry, I've not got any plans uh, at this moment in time of taking Jet 2 flights to New York. So, yeah, there's, uh, that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to. Stay tuned for more flight reviews, more travel vlogs, and things like that. And make sure you press that red button, subscribe and press the bell, put your push notifications on. Don't forget also, leave your thoughts in the comments below. You can check out my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen. And I'll see you all again for the next video. We have got a holiday plans going to uh, Orlando in the United States of America, in Florida, of course. We're connecting at Newark Airport uh, in the state of New Jersey. We're flying with United Airlines, so we'll have... It's my first time flying with United Airlines, so I'm looking forward. I'll be doing a flight review for them. Uh, I'm obviously, one of the connecting flights is going to be a domestic flight, and one's going to be international flight. So I might do two reviews, seeing the differences. Imagine that would be quite interesting, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And, of course, we'll have a vlog coming up from Orlando, Florida, too, of all that we get up to. Um, I'll probably have some more stuff coming up between now and then, too, because that's in the summer. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all again for the next video. So it's been JSGC Vlogs. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.
Ciao for now.